weather now. Margaret's back, and we're talking fog tonight as it's gotten pretty thick outside. And you know, like I say, we can't have it all because it's foggy, but it's still warm. And it's going to be colder. Yeah, oh, we, we, we've got it all this week. Okay, so fog, some rain, warm temperatures. And then as we go into our Thursday, you know what? We're going to have this incredible drop in temperatures. Here is a look at what's going on right now. We've got a weak frontal boundary that's stationary across the area. Over time, it's going to move to the north and bring us some warmer weather. A little bit of rain is going on right now. It's not a lot, but just enough to moisten up the streets. You can see that it extends over Terrebonne Parish. Moving into Lafouche, it's heading to the north. Just a few sprinkles over by Homa. Metro area, not as much. We've had rain over by Laplace. Now it's over the northern portion of the causeway. And then to the north shore, Covington, Folsom, over towards Bogogalusa. You've got some rain. As we look at the 24 hour rainfall totals, we had plenty of rain, especially early this morning across the northern portion of the North Shore between 2 and 3 o'clock this morning in the metro area. This is what it looked like this afternoon, though, in St. James Parish. Bryant Charlson in that twit pick, and he said it really came down in a short time period. Over the bucket today, though, at the airport, an inch, Slidell, an inch. At the lakefront, 1.3 inches of rain. Hammond, 9 tenths, and Gulfport, almost a half an inch of rain. This evening, as everybody was trying to go home, man, it was a mess with the fog and the rain. Now, as we look at the forecast for rainfall accumulation, that's how much rain you're going to get tomorrow. Not so much. It's about a 30% chance of rain. So here's what's happening. The front that's stationary now is going to be moving to the north as a warm front. We're going to have this southerly flow 10, 15, 20 miles per hour as we go into tomorrow afternoon. The better chance of rain southwest Mississippi and your high temperatures tomorrow mid to the upper 70s. Then as we go into Wednesday, a strong southerly flow. Some scattered showers. You'll look to the north, and there's the cold front. This is going to change our temperatures big time. So for Wednesday, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Then we get this cold front moving through. The high temperatures for your Thursday will actually be early in the morning Thursday. Once this front moves through, the temperatures are going down. Small craft advisories are posted. You're going to have this incredible northerly flow sending in cold air. You look to the north, and you'll notice the pink over here by Jackson. That's where we're definitely expecting a wintry mix. It is possible, depending on how quickly those temperatures drop, that you could possibly get something over southwest Mississippi, maybe into the northern portion of the North Shore. The timing has got to be right with the cold weather, and you still need the moisture. So high temperatures Thursday early in the day, probably in the 60s, but going into the afternoon, we're going to be in the 30s and in the low 40s. Our high temperature today was 76. We can look at those highs a little bit cooler to the north. But Galliano hit 82 degrees in South Mississippi. Anthony Pollard said the fog was pretty. This is where we are now with visibilities generally a quarter of a mile at the lakefront, a little bit higher, but over the causeway central portion, that's where it's a half a mile. And of course, the fog advisory through 9 o'clock tomorrow for our entire area. Temperatures right now in the mid 60s, I don't see us dropping much more. So, three tomorrow afternoon, 76 degrees, some showers. Wednesday, high rain chance late Wednesday, early Thursday. Those temperatures are going down really fast. Looking at your Friday, mid 40s for highs. Over the weekend, temperatures pop up a little bit, and it's looking like it's going to be a really nice weekend.